Today on Create we're building the ultimate Create Workshop. We want to develop our island swiftly, so we'll need every kind of crafting available in the mod, and most importantly, we'll need the brass. Which means lots of new cool technology, but also means going to the nether. Yeah, that's not something I look forward to. But first, we'll need a swanky building to put all that in. So let's start this episode with an epic time lapse. Allow me to introduce you to our newest workshop tower. That's uh, that's a lot of tower. That's a lot of workshop. Lot of we can fit in it. It's uh, it's gonna be brilliant. It's gonna be great. Yeah. It... All right. What, what are we putting in here? What are we putting in here? Well, the long story short, everything. I don't actually know what we do need as like create players. So I just uh, gave us a giant area to to work with, and uh, that's about it, all oh. slip. Okay. See, my original idea, right, was like, hey, you know, players need a lot of yes. space. I'm gonna build, like, this giant penthouse at the very, very top, where we can put all okay. of the machinery we need, and all the instruments and all that. But then, I realized how much of a nightmare it's gonna be having to climb, like, a ladder or even fly on an elytra up there every single time we need something. Yeah. So also, I also did this giant room where we can also put everything that we need. And then maybe in the penthouse we'll make some, you know, recreation of the stuff. Two everything, one at the top, one at the bottom. I don't know, we, we may eventually have like jetpacks or something, who knows. Okay, this is awesome and all, but the, this is a little bit more time sensitive than that. I've, uh, I think I broke the iron farm. You... The well, you couldn't break it because I fixed it. You fixed it? Okay, cool. You probably... Yeah, we didn't really show this on camera because uh, I kind of did it at like 1 in the morning uh, <laughs> while barely being a human being. But you know how I was like, hey, and in a perfect world we would be like storing the gravel and storing the iron and storing the flint. I did all of that. Yes. Welcome oh. to Iron Farm 2.0. Check this out. For one, we got the Zombert. The most important part by far. Only washed gravel will reach here. Then the product, so the Nikes, go up into this chute, down into this chest okay. here, and we're once again using vanilla Minecraft redstone to sort out Nikes and sort out flint. Right? So the flint okay. then goes into this chest, and once this chest overloads, it goes into this vault. And the beautiful thing about that is that if we ever need to automatically feed nuggies or flint or gravel into something else that isn't this factory. Check this out. The vaults are sticking out from the back! Nice, nice. Alright. Yeah, that factory is dummy thick. We never need to enter the factory ever again. The Zombert will go and visit it for ages. Because if we need something, we can just drag it out of these item vaults from the back of the factory into the next factory. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to access these, but I guess we'll solve that afterwards. But, uh, yeah, uh, the thing is, is that this stuff was already here when I started AFK. Uh -huh. And I think you saw all those iron ingots that were in there? Yeah, that's a fresh product. Okay, I want you to imagine how much flint came with that. It was backed up past the double chest up there. Things weren't <sighs> picking up from the conveyor belt anymore. Were the filters broken? Yes, there was ah. flint in these two, which means there's probably flint in that vault. Okay. Well, I guess I, I do have a unway of addressing that. 
This is why I don't like things that don't have inventory access. List. It's fine! Oh, no. Don't worry about it. Oh god, it's disgusting. Oh god, they all have... Ah, this, ah. We're gonna have to make some sort of a situation that like stops the contraption when the flint chest is filled. That's not gonna be much of a problem, to be completely honest. We can make it so that this never happens ever again. And also thank you for AFK, like the, all, all the iron blocks are pretty nice. This is a clutch. When it receives redstone power, we can bl stop any contraption, stop any shaft from ro rotating. So basically this, and Kerchungus, and the entire farm stops. I'm just gonna have a redstone line running up to here and uh, tell the entire contraption to stop doing anything. Please, dear god, stop doing anything. <laughs> This is shoddy, this is garbage, but it will probably prevent the entire system from collapsing, which is all I really want from it right now. What do we need to get that brass? Uh, we need a blaze. That That's really everything we need. It's we, we need a blaze burner. And for that, we mm. need some iron sheets, some netherrack, and then we have to go catch a blaze. What do you mean catch it? Uh, I mean that we take these little cages and we literally right-click the blazes with them. Well, all right, let's go fetch some blazes then. Do you really didn't want to go to the Nether in this thing, but uh, I guess we're doing it, aren't we? <laughs> Ah, I really do hate the modded nether, but now that I'm staring down a crimson forest with no gold on, I'm like, what do I hate more? I don't know. <laughs> well, don't worry, it's uh, not like we're going into an even more dangerous place. Is this player placed nether brick or uh, did we actually reach another fortress? I think we actually reached the nether fortress if the thing on the owl is all punk. Well, okay, yeah, that, um, well, that's that one. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, the advancements are telling. Yep. I can hear a blaze! Oh, I can yeah. hear a... Get in my belly! Oh, really? It's, it's just right-clicking. It's literally it's just, just right-clicking! Right we don't even have to fight yeah, it! it is literally just right-clicking. It is literally easier than actually fighting them. The problem is, is that every blaze spawner in this place has already been claimed. As in, ah. like, removed. So okay. that may be the only blaze we find. Well, the thing about that is that, uh, yep, there, there we go, it's gone. <laughs> no, the thing about that is that blazes actually spawn passively within the nether fortresses. We don't need a blaze spawner. Oh my god, Lee! What? You were wrong, and I have never been. So happy to prove you wrong. Oh, oh, we have a spawner. We have a spawner! And you can just right-click the spawner itself as well! Why was I afraid of doing this? Ah! Uh, okay, Blaze Because the modded nether sucks, usually. Yeah, okay, fuck. I forgot that we had to actually walk here. Yay! Let's get the heck out of there. Uh, there's another mosquito, I'm not dealing with that. I figure the ideal place to put this is in the new workshop, right? Oh yeah, I cannot wait to actually do something with this space. Where do we want it? Like, I think the elevator controls will be over here, so we can't put it along this wall. Where, where, where do we want to put it? I just, I don't know, any place? We're, we're gonna move it anyway, just plop it down the center, whatever. Oh, look at him, look at the little fella. Here's a stack of copper, here's a stack of zinc. Uh, do we need and to now... actually hit the boy? Yes. All right, there we go. And then spinny spin spin. Yeah. It output six brass ingots so far, and then it gave me back the, the stuff. Oh, all right, all right, all right, Heck all right. Yeah. This we can do with. This we can work with. Yes. Awesome. Uh, now then, this, well, for one, I think we should get your redstone link set up over there to, to get rid of that whole comparator line. Like, I know you worked hard on it, but, uh, yeah. Right, uh, what, what is a redstone link? It's, it's wireless redstone. No, for real, though. It's a remote control. Oh, it really is just... Yeah, we need the competitor thing, but we can't spare ourselves a giant, you know, bit of redstone being spilled all over the, the shop. Okay, wonderful, but, uh, how, how we make one? And that's it. 
We don't need a giant contraption. Could I just lever on it? Oh, true. Well, it don't work, so... Yeah, everything's definitely still pretty going. How exactly did I mess it uh, up? Oh, I, it needs to be in the receive mode! Look! Ooh. Yeah, you just I just need to shift right click it and... Now it doesn't work! Which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, okay, I hope that this is gonna shut it off remotely. It's a little bit hard to test right should. now, due to, you know, the, the nature of what a hopper is. Alright! This should take care of our overflowing issues. This should definitely take care of the overflowing issues and... Until the iron starts overflowing. Which I doubt it ever will, honestly. Yeah, number one, I think we're gonna use it faster than that. And number two, by the time that it's uh, doing that, we're gonna have some kind of factory that will, you know, be taking it straight from here anyway, so... Now, with the iron foundry finally fixed, once and for all, hopefully, it's time to assemble our ultimate workshop. So as cute as the mixer is, I don't think we should leave him just like sitting in the middle of the room like this. We're gonna wanna pack as much in here as possible and we need like, you know, blower fans, we need the stampy stampy. I don't know the technical names for any of these things, but I know we've got a lot to fit in. Here. Well, the first and foremost, we need to migrate most of the uh, water mill because that exactly. thing has all of our stuff. Uh, but there are definitely like, things on my wish list about this thing uh, that uh, I would like to implement. Like, can I have a sign for mode? So this is gonna be the elevator. Because I'm not gonna climb all the way up to the flipping penthouse every single time I want to do that. And uh, frankly, I don't actually know anything else about this. Uh, I know there's pokery thingy-majigs that like apply things via poking with a finger. So we'll want one of those. Um, we yes. probably will want the some sort of a storage area somewhere, maybe like a floor above, but still somewhere around. You know what I realize? Um, now that we got brass, we can do shaped crafting. Yes, we can do shape crafting, and that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that that fit perfect in there. Like the maximum is like five by five of, of the shaped crafting, or seven by seven, or something. Five by five, I think. Yeah, if you just want like a manual one, we put it in here. Yeah, I like how it would be like this public telephone booth of like, oh, do you need to shape craft something quick? Okay, cool, just roll them here, put in the recipe, click it. 3D printing of the future. I know, right? Am I gonna just force Liara to do all the interior decorating for me? Yes, absolutely. I already built the actual building, it's only fair she also contributes. Actually, while Lee's out there doing the interiors, I also wanted to secretly quickly uh, do a thing over here. A thing I discovered and was actually really upset that we haven't found it earlier, because it would have been so cool! Well, it's gonna be cool right now instead, so check this out. These are Nixie tubes, and they're made with two electron tubes, and they are pretty handy. So electron tubes are just polished raw quartz, which uh, raw quartz is just regular quartz but with redstone all over it plus there's plenty of it in the nether next up we supposed to sandpaper it and get this little polished rose quartz and yes it is killing me slowly that the sandpaper is essentially just paper and sand like this is the most galaxy brain crafting recipe they could have made for it now we just attach a couple of them to a couple of those and we got ourselves two lamps actually eight lamps just like that and yet yeah, in theory these are supposed to like show you exactly what strength redstone signal is and that kind of stuff but honestly i am obviously primarily interested in them as a way to display messages because apparently you can just right click them with the name tag and it doesn't even consume the name tag that is so handy especially since we can just haunt a book and quill into becoming a name tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get these back because check this out, they can be put freaking sideways. This is amazing. And this should just, yep, there we go. Now it says workshop. Oh my God, why haven't we made these so much earlier? Nothing was stopping us. We had the materials. Anyway, now that this place is officially a workshop, <laughs> let's go check out what Liara did with the interiors. Welcome. Come on in. Um, from right to left, we have 
a uh, mechanical press that goes into a basin so we can actually potentially make, you know, flint and stuff now. Uh, we have a mill. You know how mills work. We have this guy right here, which uh, allows us to mix things with or without heat. We have this right here, which is going to come in handy uh, for, well, deploying things. We can put things in the hand and it applies them more precisely than we can. And then this you're also familiar with, which is just a normal mechanical press. We have toolboxes, many, many of them. Only one of them has stuff in it so far. We have a kitchen, finally. We have uh, this elevator that you decided to install as a temporary fix. And then <laughs> I came back in here. Listen, there's like five no. different ways to make an elevator and create. Before we decide on one, I did, I still needed to go up. Yes, no, I appreciate it. It entertains me. Uh, we have this here, which uh, I haven't figured out how to install properly yet, but it's going to have a whole row of those deployers because some things require you to put multiple on. And uh, this is the the wall of fans. So we have the the washer, the smoker, the haunter. And and the smelter. I like how even here you managed to install like a washing machine. <laughs> yeah, I thought they almost looked like vending machines. They're, they're very cute though, I like them. What is the difference between the like campfire and lava though? Um, so the campfire cooks things at a like mm -hmm. edible afterwards temperature. Uh -huh. So we can put food and kelp and stuff like that in there. Whereas this one smelts like stone, iron and all, all the traditional cookie. Oh, I didn't know that it differ differentiated. Yeah, no, it. Uh, I found that out the hard way with some of my bread. Like, it went bye-bye. All right, so that's pretty impressive looking. One question, though. Uh, what, what what the heck's the deployer? So, yeah, the deployer, the deployer basically does anything that a human hand can do uh, within the game, except for it does it more precisely and also automatically. And what I mean by more precisely is it can do things that we can't do. I can hand it my sword, and, it, and if we were to have mobs go in front of it, it would be able to attack with the sword. But we can also slap a golden sheet down here, hand it a small cog, we hand it a big cog, and we hand it an iron nugget, and then we rinse and repeat. Um, and the point of this is, uh... Well, after we do this five times, this is going to hand us a precision mechanism, which we can then use for such an advanced technology as, uh, oh, train controls, mechanical arms, and uh, my personal favorite at the moment, rotational speed controllers, because these are kind of slow. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would probably increase the situation. So basically, it's, it's, it uses like a separate way of crafting, like a recipe sequence kind of a craft yes it yes. needs to be like a finger that like pops yes exactly machine logic well, it broke i think oh no, no it I didn't it's done. look at that precision yeah. mechanism honestly after all that headache i genuinely cannot believe that we actually made one like there's gotta be a better way to do this well that's what this up here is theoretically for I was having trouble trying to remember how to arrange it, so I was probably going to look up a tutorial, but uh, the idea is I put a row of those deployers, mm -hmm. and then a second belt that comes back to drop the stuff off at the beginning again. Oh. And that way it can just loop through it until it finishes. There's a couple other mechanisms, including the vibration mechanism. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know what that one's used for. For the oh, you're gonna love it. It's speakers. Well, I mean, also crafting terminal for you know Tom's simple storage mode. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we'll need one of those complicated boys. And speaking of complicated boys, I now realize that there's still one extra type of crafting that we don't re haven't really employed, and that is the mechanical mm -hmm. crafter, because there are recipes that require that specifically, and we are ready distinctly made a separate place for that to be organized. Yes, we had the room for it in here, but we'd also needed the brass technology for that. And there we go, the biggest crafting bench on this side of the island. It's, it's a big one. 
Well, I was about to say, I don't even know what to do with it, but no, we need crusher wheels. This, that's the whole reason that we wanted this sucker to begin oh. with, was to make the big crusher wheels. Yeah, that's why that one wall in the workshop is empty. Okay, how right. do we get uh, the, the, the crush? How, how, how do crush? Oh, it's just a bunch of andesite alloy. So all of this... We will need two of them, though. Yep, and down the middle is just some rock. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, it's not fast. <laughs> it's not, but it's cool that it just went automatically as soon as the right stuff is in it. Well, it's not it's awesome. that. I'm pretty sure that it decides when to craft as soon as everything, every slot is finished. Oh. Yeah, which is why I made these, uh, the crafter slot covers. If we ever need to craft something smaller, we just cover up the ones that we don't need. And there we go. Oh. Crushing wheel, okay. and look at this! You make two of them at a time! Oh, well that makes yeah. life easy. All right, so what are we crushing first? <laughs> well, there is an achievement for getting into this. Yeah, I already got that. I mean, honestly, I just want to see what happens to a good bag of cobblestone. Though they are not the fastest. We... They're satisfying, so... He's producing gravel, though. But then if we, yes. if we crush gravel, yes. get sand, and there's like clay, and there's a bunch of stuff that we can do with these. This particular... These two are specifically for the workshop, though. For small batches. Like, I have a bunch of that stuff that crushes down in a copper over there. Mm. So we can mm. run a bunch of that through it, for example. Stuff like that. Just to tally it out, we basically successfully accomplished every kind of a crafting that Create allows for. I don't have any, like, I don't have enough of the crafters memorized here. Me either. But what I do have memorized is the one thing that you told me we're gonna do as soon as we get brass. And I think that would be the perfect finish for, like, today. Long day of, uh, you know, figuring out how to make about everything in the stupid mode. Uh, the only thing I remember is the speed controllers. What, what, what were you thinking? I was thinking, okay, okay, okay. They are on farm, right? <laughs> yeah. We're just never gonna stop fixing it. Oh! But you know how on the second floor, on the third floor even, there is a clock tower without a clock? Oh! We can now craft the clockwork bearing and have an actual clock on the top of the clock tower. And now, like, where, where's the precision mechanism that we got? It, they're gonna laugh, it doesn't even require a precision mechanism. Time is not a precise it, science, Lee. Right? Yeah, it, it, it's just an electron tube and a piece of brass casing. I'm at least happy that it still needed another technology, so I don't feel dumb that we didn't do it before now, but... Yeah. <laughs> no, it did require brass, so we, at least we got brass. Let's go. I, I want to at least have a mechanical crafter make it. This, this, this. Oh, oh okay. Go. Because it's called accumulating all the other ones. It's thinking hard about it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's real pondery on the topic. Hey. All right. We got it. There we go. <laughs> that was the silliest and least necessary thing, but I approve. Let's try and make the big, the big arrow out of the girders. They're chunky enough, they should spice. Hey! And it, for some reason decided that only one of them is supposed to actually be glued on. Very happy with uh, vault? Yep, it has, uh, they have like really, really cute uh, ornament at the corners. That works? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Why it's move so, so embarrassing. I wanted a clock on that tower so badly and we couldn't make one last episode. So much so that in the thumbnail for the last video, I actually just photoshopped a clock in onto the tower. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because it just didn't look right without it. And now it has one, it's just... I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, it's good, I liked it. And that really does leave us with just the specialized sequence crafting that we haven't really... haven't really automated in full yet. But that's a really good idea for the next episode, because do you know what the sequence crafting also allows for? Jetpacks. Oh, I was expecting something train-related. Jetpacks is real cool. I mean, look at the building I had to build today, and like, hmm, I wonder why I would want a jetpack. I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be close to as tall as it gets. This is already going to be a pain to get up and down. Eh. So I can't wait till we get that elevator, but jetpacks, that'll be even handier. 
Fox, please, in the comments down below. Somebody tell us how to make an elevator. <laughs> There's like so many ways to make one and we can't decide on them. Yeah, we could have a rope pulley from the top, we could have a piston from the bottom, or we could just have a system of these flingers, to be completely honest. <laughs> nah, they do so much fall damage, I will not survive to the top. Well, that, that's where enchantments come in, but fair enough. Wait, how are you going to survive having a jetpack then? Um, I'll only fly over water. <laughs>